Good morning and happy Slide Guitar Sunday. As you can see out my window, it's an absolutely gorgeous Sunday morning here in West Virginia. Cold as all get out, which is why I got the fire going back here. Um, and today we are going to talk about Mr. Booker White. Uh, Booker White, his name was actually uh, Booker T. Washington White. He was named after Booker T. Washington, the African-American educator and civil rights activist. Um, all right. Now, what's the cool thing about it is he was cousins with B.B. King's mother. So they're like second cousins, which is really cool. Um, I have some notes over here I'm going. His father was, guy, was a guy named John White. He was a railroad worker and also a musician who performed locally. And he primarily played the fiddle, uh, but also the mandolin, the guitar, and the piano. And he gave Booker a guitar for his ninth birthday. Now, White started his career playing fiddle at square dances, of all things, okay? Now, <clears throat> there's a lot available about him um, online, and there's a lot on YouTube. And what's really cool is the, uh, what is it, the 1960s folk, uh, folk and blues, whatever the channel is, um, they have him doing a part one and a part two, just like they have so many other great blues performers. And he actually sits and plays the piano, and really, it sounds great. Um, he plays piano, and before I saw that, I didn't even know Buckle White played piano. I thought he was primarily just a guitarist. Now, he played a metal-bodied resonator for the most part. As you can see, I've got my old Stella strung up here. Um, now, he did something that I didn't know until I started researching this song we're going to talk about today, which, by the way, is Jitterbug Swing, and that is that he played an open E minor, uh, just like... Um, Shoot, I can't remember the, the name of the other guy. Open E minor, the king of the Delta Blues. Okay, anyway, he played... Uh, can't remember. Why do things escape me sometimes? Anyway, there you go. Uh, but he played open E minor. Um, and that's why when you see him in his videos, he's always got his hand like this. Because he's holding down that third. You'll hear him once in a while use it. Um, so, we're going to talk about Jitterbug Swing today. Now, I'm in open D minor, which is the same as open E as far as the intervals. It's just not hard on my neck on my guitar. Open E in any form seems to be really hard on a guitar neck. Um, as you know, I had a resonator. I still have it. It just it will not go into tune. It won't do anything I want it to do. And it is, I uh, had gotten the headstock broken, and now it's almost impossible to get it intonated correctly. All right. So that is D A D F A D. So the only difference between this and open D that I usually play in is that the third string here is F instead of F sharp. And here it's a minor. Now this is the first string, this is the sixth string. Now I recorded this for my um, Slide Guitar Sunday performance and I'm gonna play you a little bit of that right now and then we're gonna get into the tune. Working on man. Working on 
gonna try me in my blood. Alright guys, so now that you've seen that, let's talk about what's happening here. Alright, and consequently, the tabs will be available to you guys over on Patreon. Um, and if, you know, wherever you see this, if you see this on YouTube, please like and follow. It just helps my channel so much to have folks actually liking my videos and following them. Um, it costs you nothing. Now, if you go over to Patreon, that's $1 a month, and that's all that is. I'm trying to make this very affordable so that I can keep this music moving forward through the generations. The blues, country blues, all kinds of blues. All right, now, Jitterbug Swing, we're in open D minor. All right, and so this is going to start just a fast strum. So, I'm going to put my first finger down on the first fret of the third string, and that gets me the D, open D. See what I'm doing? I'm taking the thumb and going 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, and in between, up with my first finger. That's the whole first part there. Then he goes into the intro. All right, so what's that? Okay, this is one of the cool things about him is he plays and he uses a lot of major sounds in his playing. So, uh, let's outline the melody. Open first, fourth fret first, seventh fret first, four, two, open. First, two on the second string, and then open first. So, that's it. You do that twice. Then we go to here and we put our slide on the second fret on the first string. Fourth fret, four, two, open, and then first finger on the second fret of the second string. And then he does what he did at the beginning. And while he's doing that, he's going to sing. He's going to go, hey, come on, all you women. Let's do that jitterbug swing. All right, so what's he doing there? He's going... What's cool is I got to see this online, so I saw how he does it, <laughs> and that's really cool. If you can find these old players online, because they're not around anymore, you can watch their fingers and see what they're doing. All right, all he's doing is taking his second finger, second fret, second string, third finger, sec first finger, second fret, first string, and doing that. <laughs> Giving it a little staccato, a little off and on. doing six four six four six four six four and in between with that strumming pattern then he does the first move again then he jumps right back into that he doesn't do it twice you think he's going to do it twice and i thought he was going to do it twice but he doesn't he goes That's where he sings it. And I'm going to do this and sing one so you can hear it. This is the second verse, kind of. This time he does it twice. Now, on this one he does something different. He puts his first finger down on the second foot of the third string, leaves everything else open. Boom. Then after he hits the fourth string with his thumb, he puts his second finger down the second fret of the second string. It's so cool. And that's kind of what takes the place, I guess, in this of the, 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 the A. You know, so you're not... They 
call this form archaic blues because it really doesn't change the chords up that much. Um, and this is kind of how it all started. Now, those are the verses, all right? Now, let me grab something here. He has this really cool little interlude in here. It starts with the lick I've already shown you. So it starts with that first lick. And then, strings one and two open, and then at the 12th fret, twice. When you saw that third time, he starts somewhere and does like that, just a slide up. Remember that video I showed you guys a while back called Be Like a Water Bug? You wanna, so you don't wanna hit all the frets on the way up, just. Now the second half of that lick is of course that four, two open on the first string and then two on the second string and then open again on the top two strings. So. Now, that fourth time he goes to the seventh fret on the first string and plays that and then does the... All right, all right. Now that's the interlude and that's where the tabs stop. Um, now, he basically does the same thing throughout the whole song. Let me just play and sing the first verse for you um, with the intro so that you can kind of get a feel for this tune. Because a lot of Buckle White stuff is about this feel he has. It's kind of like that, almost like CCR. Maybe they got it from him. In fact, I'm sure they got it from him in some voice. into the next verse. Now, at the end, which I don't really have notated, but it goes. So he does the lick. Starts at the second fret on the second string. Goes to the fifth fret on the second string. So. And that's it, guys. Hey, have fun with it. Like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube, go over to Patreon. You get all the tabs with this and everything else that I show you. All right, folks, and it's only a dollar a month. Remember that, just a dollar a month. You ever feel like a used car salesman? It's only a dollar a month, it's Crazy Joe. Now, unfortunately, I'm Little Joe. Um, okay, guys, let's keep this music alive, y'all. Hey, have a good week.